Hey, this is Baltal again, back with another LEGO review. Today we're going to be doing the Castle Brickmaster book. Uh, contains 140 pieces, two minifigures, also a very cool skeleton horse. Retails for $30 in bookstores right now. However, you can get it on Amazon.com for about 16 to 20 bucks. So, a much better deal online than in the shop. It says on the front here, contains 13 amazing LEGO models. Um, that's the first build. There's seven in all. You can see six others on the back. Uh, got a nice little window here to view all the pieces. And something interesting here is the parts list is inside the front cover. Used to it being at the back of the instruction book. Alright, so let's check out the interesting pieces and then I'll walk you through all seven builds. And let's take a closer look at the book here. Uh, open it up, there's the parts list. This annoying box that always gets in the way. Uh, it does have some very nice pictures in here. Uh, got a spot to put your name and your age. Table of contents. And then it walks you through each build, and you know, nothing fancy here. It's just really, really basic brick on brick building. And there's another shot of the back. So these are the more interesting pieces in the set. Uh, first off we have this skull face here. It's got two Technic pins coming out of the back. Very cool. Uh, also there's a couple of these uh, corner roof tiles. Two of these in the set. Also get this nice skeleton horse here. Love to have an army of about 20 of those. Uh, got an interesting sword. And this nicely printed skull shield. And let's take a look at our minifigures. We've got the Castle Knight here. No back printing on him does have the dual sided head though with the scared face which I love. And then you also get this skeleton here. If I can get him to stand up. Uh, he's got the old white droid arms which I actually prefer to the newer Ninjago skeleton arms because to me those are really brittle and I've had a couple of them break on me. These are not as detailed, but haven't had any problems with them breaking. Alright, so this is the first build. Um, this is a weapons rack, and the first thing is this axe is actually in a different color. When I was building this, I dropped it and it just disappeared on me, so I had to replace it with this one. But here's our weapon rack, very nicely made. Uh, next is this little catapult here, which I don't like because this piece right here pops out way too easily. Of course it didn't do it there. And I don't know what the deal is because I've got other Technic connectors like this and it holds just fine. So. I don't know what to do with that piece is, but not really a fan of that catapult. Uh, next we've got this little outpost here. Pretty 
pretty boring on the back. Uh, next up is we've got this, this chariot here for the skeleton and his horse. Very cool. And then we've got a jail. Which is very creepy looking. door opens here. And it also has bars at the back so you can see through it. Here's our second build. It's called the Castle Jail. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. I guess this piece is supposed to be locking the skeleton horse to the ground. Um, it is cool how they added the horn pieces here though. Here's a shot of our jail. Uh, you can see the skeleton's been locked up. The door is open. Uh, I've got this weak catapult up here again. There's a shot of the back. Again, you have a little window to see through the jail. And nice little arch here. For build 3 we have a fort and a weapon cart. Here's a shot of our fort. Uh, lame catapult up here again. But nice horn detail here. And of course it's got the skull. Not too much on the back. And then here's our weapon cart. Uh, not really happy with this because these want to fall out really easily. Just roll it around a little bit and they just flop out. It does look cool, but this part right here could be designed a lot better. Fourth build is Castle Chariot. As you can see, our knight's getting hauled off to jail here. He's pretty scared. And I like the design on this. Really cool looking. This one is called Castle Lookout. Pretty cool, nice horn detail on the front. Flames and the skull in the back. Looks really nice. Build number six is called Castle Battle. Got a nice little spot for him to stand. skeleton on the horse. And here's the final build. We've got the knight's fort. There is a door back here, but it doesn't open with the guy standing in the way. Axe on one side, spear on the other. Got a flag and some flames. And then you get this awesome chariot here. Love the way this looks. Pretty cool with the crossbow attached to the top. Uh, not too happy with this set or any of the other Brickmaster books, to be honest. Um, you know, for $30, you just don't get a lot of pieces here. You do get this nice colorful book, but you got this stupid box glued to it, which I really don't like. Um, you know, I do like the fact that it encourages people to build multiple things out of the same set, but even with that, I, I really can't recommend it. Not a good set, you know, go pick up like a $30 creator set and you'll have a lot more fun. Until next time.